Alrighty, never got to do the uh, post-game video for um, the Sunday night football game um, against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, so, uh, obviously, big win for the 49ers. Um, massive win for the 49ers. Um, clearly, going into the game, the 49ers were the better team, without a doubt. Um, when you look at roster, you know, with with the injuries that we have, you know, with Brandon Ayuk done for the year and McCaffrey not back yet. Um, Talanoa Hufanga out, obviously Dre Greenlaw out. Those are just some of the most notable injuries. Um, I thought the 49ers played well. I thought guys stepped up. I thought rookies stepped up big time. The Amador Lenore um, had another interception against Dak Prescott late in the game that kind of put the game away. Um, just... Uh, uh, really a good team win overall. The game was very slow starting off. I mean, really up until halftime, um, the game was pretty slow. The 49ers weren't playing their best football. Brock Purdy was missing some some, some layup throws. But per usual, Brock Purdy got it going. He ended up having a, a massive game. Um, he had the same amount of rush yards as the entire Dallas Cowboys offense. Um, he had eight carries for 56 yards. Um, he also finished the game 18 for 26, 260 yards and a passing touchdown to George Kittle. So Brock Purdy, again, he started slow, got things going, ended up playing extremely well and had, had, you know, one of his better games all season. Um, Ricky Pearsall, um, had one rush for 39 yards. He caught four passes for 38 yards. So Ricky Pearsall had a sneaky good game. Um, I think Ricky Pearsall is going to be a great player for the Niners. He fits their style of play on offense. Um, and I'm, I'm super excited to see what Ricky can bring to the table. We're going to see a lot of him this year, obviously with Brandon Ayuk hurt. Um, so super pumped up about Pearsall. Um, Jordan Mason left the game with another shoulder injury. I'm not sure what's going on with Jordan Mason. He's been getting hurt, uh, pretty regularly, but Isaac Garendo, uh, stepped up, um, had 14 carries for 85 yards and a touchdown, had his first touchdown for, with the Niners. He could have had like three or four by now, but he continues to be a team player, um, and slide before getting into the end zone when need be. So, um, was, was super impressed with Isaac Garendo. Dude runs the ball very hard. He's very quick too. Um, so obviously going into the bye week, Everybody's the expectation is that McCaffrey's back versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after the bye week. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'm praying to God that he comes back because obviously the second half of the schedule is much tougher than the first half. And with the Niners being four and four, you know, the division is still up for grabs. Nobody has a better record in the NFC West than the 49ers. Um, everybody's kind of, you know, right there with each other in terms of record. So um, yeah, man, we'll see what happens. Nick Bosa had a tremendous game, had the sack. Um, Nick Bosa is, is a monster. Um, he, he's had, Nick Bosa has had a lot of pressures and a lot of like almost sacks. Um, but I was happy to finally see Nick Bosa, um, get, get a sack and, and, um, you know, help the 49ers defense. And then, um, other than that, man, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good game overall. George Kittle absolutely dominated uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Six catches for 128 yards, and again, with that touchdown, tapped, uh, capped off National Tight Ends Day with a tremendous um, stat line. So uh, Debo Samuel also had a pretty good game. Four catches, 71 yards, had a touchdown that got called back because of an Eric Salbert holding call. Um it was a terrible hold by Salbert on that play. So definitely was not a fan of that. Uh, Fred Warner had a dominant game. Um, Devondre Campbell had his best game all season. I uh, was pretty impressed with Devondre Campbell. D. Winters suffered a concussion um, against Dallas. Uh, that's why he left the game. I was very confused what happened with him, but it ended up being a concussion. Um, Charvarius Ward had a pretty good game, had a lot of tackles. I believe he was second. Um, and tackles on the team. And then, um, again, Fred Warner, D'Amador Lenore, Devondre Kim, all those guys had a pretty good game. Um, tell you somebody, too, that's really starting to catch my eye. Um, I, it, it's got to be tough for me to explain or pronounce his last name, but Sam 
Okin Okinanu, um, Okiyanu, or however you say it. You guys know who I'm talking about. Sneaky, sneaky good player for the 49ers. Um, like, he played better than I think Leonard Floyd played. Um, and I think he's going to be a very intriguing player for the Niners moving forward, obviously with all the injuries that they have um, on the defensive line. So, yeah, man, uh, Niners improved to 4-4. Four and four. Obviously, we have the bye week, and then we um, we get ready for Tampa Bay after that. And again, I mean, the expectation is that Christian McCaffrey is back. So far right now, bearing any setback, the expectation is that he does play. Um, they're going to open up his practice window and, and have him start practicing. Again, this happened week one. I mean, you know, he was practicing and whatnot, but he suffered a setback the Friday before um, the home opener against the New York Jets, um, which I was at. And I remember going to my seat and then obviously getting the notification that McCaffrey was not going to play, um, which was was terrible. That's, that sucked tremendously. Um but yeah, so again, hopefully there's no setback. I'm praying to God that Christian McCaffrey can come back and 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 you know have a injury free second half of the season and 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 give this 49ers team a boost going into the second part of the season. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll continue to keep you guys updated on the McCaffrey situation. But again, expectation he plays Week Ten versus uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers once they come off uh, the bye week. So. Let me know what you guys think of the Niners win um, over the Cowboys Sunday night in the comments down below. Um, yeah, gonna be weird without the Niners playing this week. I always don't. I always hate the bye weeks because it's it always comes at a time where you know the Niners are on a on a skid and they need to start winning games and whatnot. I remember last year. I mean, they were on a skid. They were on that three game skid. Um, and then obviously after the bye week, things started ramping up and they started playing much better and went on that run. So we'll see if they can do that again this year. Um, so, yeah, as always, go Niners. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.